Thank you so much, Dr. Maulik Bakshi, for such an elaborate uh, introduction. आपने लगभग अर्धो कलाक थी बैठा चाहिए, है ना हजी एक कलाक बेसवान हो जाए, एक मिनट उबा थे जी। <laughs> okay. Now, in second time, we'll inhale while going up and exhale while coming down. Okay. And count on. See, when we did when we did for the first time, we were counting the numbers of movement, and that was body. He was it was involved. When we did it second time, we were focusing on our breathing, so mind was involved. And when we did it third time, harsh. The soul was also involved. So this is how the mind, body, and soul can be one. And if we are mindful of that, the life will be very beautiful, pleasant, and everlasting happiness is always possible. It is not outside circumstances which creates unhappiness. It is our thoughts which is creating unhappiness in our life. If we be aware of what we are thinking minute by minute, it is meditation, nothing else. So let me begin with today's session. A very excellent paper in American Journal of Medicine by John P. Higgins in 2022. And he is telling, see, we all are good physicians, but how can we be a great physicians? And there are 10 points excellently written in that. Be a detective like Sherlock. Gaikal thi apade age budu samdi raya chhe ke kya kai history ma something is missing, examination ma something is missing, what the investigations are telling, and we can find out. And a majority of the time, many patients we see there is some issue with compliance. So if we take the history properly, second most important thing Dr. Pramod Jog always says: get healthy and be relaxed always when we are with the patient. Be a master listener. Sometimes a grandparent telling some simple sentence gives the clue what is going on in this child. Find your passion. See, daily morning diarrhea, vomiting, cough, cold, fever, vaccination will not give you happiness. But if you add some extra things like I do adolescent practice and I'm very happy that I am doing that. So that passion may be in the field of your medicine or in other field will be very important. Treat the whole patient. Sometimes we only treat cough cold and the major thing is left alone. Dr. Pramod Jog always says we are big pediatrician. Every child coming to us should have breastfeeding nutrition history, immunization history, growth and development history, BIG. And if we follow that religiously, vaccination cannot go down even if the government is taking up our vaccination. That is for sure. Have empathy. Put ourselves into the shoes of the patient, relatives and the child and we'll be very empathetic while talking. Pay attention to details and develop resilience. Very important for a great physician because many a times we are faced with the death of a child, sudden uh, deteriorating of the child and if we can take care of that. 
टेक द रिस्पोन्सिबिलिटी द बक स्टॉप विथ यू भले अपना स्टाफ में बहुज ब मणसों होसिस्टंट डॉक्टर हो बट फाइनल कॉल इज आर ओन हू इज दी हेड ऑफ देट इंस्टिट्यूट सो वी हेव टू टेक द रिस्पोन्सिबिलिटी एंड काउंट ऑन योर स्टार्स मेनी अ टाइम्स वाई वी केन स्लीप क्वाइटली वाई वी हेव फन बिकॉज देर आर बहुज ब दुआओ अपन ने पेशंट रिलेटिव मेली होने देट वी नीड टू काउंट सो समवेर ओर समहव इफ वी डोट फाइंड अ गुड डायग्नोसिज और अ ट्रीटमेंट counting on the stars will definitely give us a lot of things so these are the 10 points if we can follow regularly in our routine day to day practice we can be a great physicians and we have stalwarts in this audience also who have followed this and have become the great physicians so let's move to the today topics topic and disclaimer is this is a support and sponsored uh, talk by uh, bharat biotech the manufacturer of tibbar tcv the typhoid fever is a life threatening infection caused by gram negative bacteria salmonella typhi and we all know structure and mode of transmission is fecal oral symptoms we all know treating typhoid since long prolonged fever fatigue headache nausea abdominal pain constipation or diarrhea and some patient may have some rash severe cases may lead to serious complications or even death If we see global prevalence 2019 report India is dark blue more than 500 to 700 cases per dot 11.9 to 27 million cases annually and 1.28 to 1.61 lakh death every year and this is we have been discussing antimicrobial stewardship since yesterday antimicrobial resistance because of irrational prescription and use of antibiotic we all know all general practitioner pediatricians and some of the pediatricians who are not attending academics every prescription will have cefixime in that and we'll know if child is fine with cefixime child did not need that cefixime non compliance of patients and which is very common and last one is disposable drugs leads to antimicrobial resistance and this is really very very alarming if antimicrobial resistance is not tackled now by 2050 one person could die every 3 seconds because of absence of important uh, sensitive antibiotics so typhoid superbug which is resistant to five types of antibiotics has infected many people in pakistan since 2016 and about 60% of typhoid cases were drug resistance so again severity of infection picoral transmission where developing country like india will have more numbers and last one is antimicrobial resistance the most important thing is to prevent that by vaccination and we must advocate vaccination against typhoid fever to all children coming to our place so this was the typhoid vaccine which was developed first generation inactivated wholesale vaccine and we all know second generation we used to give that typhoral capsules alternate day with milk then vi polysaccharide vaccine came in 2003 then third generation vi polysaccharide conjugate vaccine came tibar tcv in 2013 and the fourth generation is under development whereas non type typeable uh, salmonella and paratyphi conjugate vaccine is under uh, development why conjugate vaccine we all know polysaccharide vaccine difference between conjugate vaccine because conjugate vaccine has b and t cell uh, stimulated antibody titers are pretty high quality of antibodies are definitely pretty high cell mediated immunity is present duration of response is very very long lived and that will tell when we'll see the um, few uh, studies immunological memory is very strong so once the vaccine has been given immunity is developed a next infection definitely it will take care of it booster response is very strong and effective ages polysaccharide we all know cannot be given below 2 years and we have been seeing today only i have got a report of 1 year 3 month old child typhoid positive so more than 6 months it can be given so conjugation is very very important now if we give typhoid conjugate vaccine and this is a very uh, excellent report that predicted reduction percentage in symptomatic typhoid cases over 10 years in 54 gavi eligible countries and they say that routine vaccination alone was predicted to avert 33 million cases of typhoid fever over 10 years which represents a 30% decrease in incidences amazing 
routine vaccination with a catch up campaign for children under 5 years was predicted to avert 47 million cases and 15 years old 63 million cases over 10 years time so if we give proper typhoid vaccine to children and adults definitely we can reduce this much uh, deaths but is all conjugate vaccines are same yes or no i like to say and i'll prove it through few studies no all conjugate typhoid vaccines are not same why let us do this the factors influence the immunogenicity of conjugate vaccine is purity of component that is number one that is polysaccharide vi polysaccharide culturing and processing carrier protein which is high purity with tt enhance the availability of conjugation another important thing is o acetylation immunogenicity of vi is closely related to the degree of o acetylation and partial acetylation on VI enhanced immunogenicity due to additional hidden epitopes relieved and alkaline hydrolysis by sodium carbonate and bicarbonate buffer can do partial acetylation on VIPs. So, conjugation method in the type bar TCV is carbodimide conjugation and you can see that at 7 day, 21 day and 28 days the anti-VPS antibody response in 1 into 100 titer is almost 1, 1, 1.10 and this conjugator vex, uh, uh, method has been patented so it cannot be used by any other company to create conjugation in typhoid vaccines. So, characteristic of type bar TCV, it is a clear colorless liquid free from visible particles 6.5 to 7.5 pH. Acetyl content is histrine, conjugate VI content, pre VI polysaccharides NMT 20%, and sterility, pyrogen test, and abnormal toxicity state should comply the test. And potency is been tested in animals and they show zero conversions. So, how this type bar TCV has been developed? In 2005, the research and development started. 2006 studies at various places about conjugate mouse immunogenicity. 2007 non clinical toxicity stability 10 phase 2 12 phase 3 and in 2013 so around 11 years back got license and the first and only pre qualified typhoid conjugate vaccine since 2018 by who this is very important that type bar tcv world's first who pre qualified tcv and millions of children said to be protected against typhoid fever, which has been written by uh, WHO in January 2018. So, what are the evidence-based clinical studies about type bar TCV? And there are robust clinical developmental clinical trials across the world in which India phase 2, phase 3, 3 years, 5 years, 7 years data, phase 4 comparator, non-interference, adults and postmortem surveillance safety trials are also there and the results are available efficacy trial of uk nepal phase 2b and phase 3 and there are effectiveness studies of bangladesh pakistan india malawi and zimbabwe so huge clinical data of the importance effectiveness immunogenicity and safety trials are available with us for this and these are the various clinical trials of phase 2 and phase 3 and they all are completed not in between they all are completed at present an FEC phase 2 immunogenicity single dose of 25 microgram vi tt conjugate vaccine showed 100 percent zero conversion and there is no difference between in gmt between two dose and a single dose uh, cohorts even type bar tcv showed 60 percent fold for zero conversion after seven years of single dose in both cohorts it's two time high compared to vi polysaccharide and subject who received booster had 83% of zero conversion rate. GMT titer of NTVA antibodies are twofold higher in subject who were administered with type bar TCV compared with VI polysaccharide vaccines. And GMT titer of NTVA antibody were raised after a booster dose in type bar TCV vaccines and no such effects are seen in VI polysaccharides and that we all know. These are two very important uh, uh, in clinical infections, this is general safety and immunogenicity of VI polysaccharide vaccine, children and adult, as well as persisting antibody response to VI polysaccharide uh, vaccine up to seven years and very good papers were there. If we see the safety pro profile, 
less than two years, 86% children did not show any adverse effect, even the local. 10% showed fever and 3.7% showed mild pain and very, very occasionally it is swelling. Whereas in 2 years to 45 years of age, 90% there was no adverse event, only 4.3 and 3.6 has mild fever and pain. And those who are using these vaccines regularly, we know it is almost very minimal side effects. And these are post-marketing -mar study, uh, uh, study and it has shown at various age groups that it is 90% to 80% no side effects which has been uh, seen and those who are there, they are very mild. So, the Global Advisory Committee on Vaccine Safety has written this on uh, December 2018 that TCV single intramuscular dose for infants and children from 6 months to 45 years of age definitely can be given this type bar TCV as the protective uh, vaccine. Again, because it comes in the first year of immunization schedule, there are many vaccines that we need to give. So, co-administration study of type bar TCV with, with MMR and meningococcal conjugate vaccine does not interfere with seroconversion of each other. Co-administration with MCV allows one or two dose schedule and school age catch-up or booster schedule may be considered. And type bar TCV booster dose has shown good immune response when it administered after six months of prime dose. The phase 4 study and immunogenicity in adults, if we see this between 18 to 45 years and 45 to 65 years, it is showing a very good immunogenicity even in adults also. And if we compared it with Typhim VI of Sanofi, that and this is immunogenicity and safety profile of this, both the vaccines are comparable and this will be presented in 11th International Conference on Typhoid and Other Invasive Salmonellosis. And it is has a robust stability data. This is very, very important. Even if the typhoid conjugate vaccine is put at 40 degree temperature for 7 days, it is showing it is a stable. And even in Ahmedabad, in month of May, 45, 48 degree centigrade, at 55 degree centigrade for the period of 3 days, it showed a good stability. So, thodok samay maate bhi vaccine freeze ban thai jai, to ana stability ni chinta karwani jarur nadhi hoti. So, efficacy and effectiveness studies and these are very, very important and this might be a very rare that this study has been done. We call it human challenge study. It has happened at various places, but Ghana, Nepal, Bangladesh, Navi Mumbai, India has done a lot of studies on safety, Malawi and Pakistan has also done many studies. And this is the very important study, first and only human challenge trial for typhoid. In this study, 200 recipients have been given typhoid, type bar TCV vaccine and after some time when the antibody titers were there, they have been given to drink Salmonella typhi infected uh, material and then they have been tested that they are uh, they are able to uh, sustain the uh, immunity or not and there has been three uh, uh, trial three arms one was given meningococcal conjugate vaccine and other two were given type bar tcv and typhim vi of sanofi and type bar tcv has shown 87.1% protection itle Vaccine lida pachi, typhoid barelu, drink bi lay lay and salmonella typhi vadu. To open satya shitaka chances nati ka apane typhoid thashe. So, this is a very, very important study. So, but that typhoid vaccine lidi ho in pachi, telapar pani puri kayento andona ave, typhoid da sa at least. The another important thing is Navi Mumbai, and we all know this important uh, things. Dr. Vijay Evle was instrumental in this, in which 1,13,420 children were vaccinated with type bar TCV in a campaign mode. 5,605 5, telephonic interviews were conducted and most common local AE uh, adverse event was pain at the injection site and symptoms like fever. So, this robust safety data is also available even from our India, Navi Mumbai. So, proven efficacy and effectiveness across the world, UK, India. So, again, indigenous Indian product, excellent safety data, 
डब्ल्यू एच ओ प्री क्वालिफिकेशन अमेजिंग स्टडीज ऑफ पोस्ट इन्फेक्शन ऑल्सो आफ्टर वैक्सीनेशन एंड इवन पाकिस्तान एंट्रिक फीवर हैज लॉट ऑफ ड्रग रेजिस्टेंस ऑलमोस्ट सिक्सटी परसेंट हैड ड्रग रेजिस्टेंस एंड देर ऑल्सो इट हैज शोन अराउंड नाइंटी सेवन परसेंट ऑफ इफेक्टिवनेस इन दिस स्टडी तो समराइजिंग वॉट आई हैव सेड इन लास्ट फिफ्टीन मिनट्स टाइफॉइड फीवर हैज ग्लोबल प्रिवेलेंस विथ हाई एंडेमिसिटी इन डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज लाइक इंडिया एंटी माइक्रोबियल रेजिस्टेंस इज कॉमन एंड इंक्रीजिंग प्रिवेंशन थ्रू वैक्सीनेशन इज द नीड ऑफ द आर See, we have been crying that vaccination has gone to government. We are not getting vaccination, but there are ample vaccines available at private setup. If we start proactively, like we did impact in the 2018, and it is still going on. If we create a sachsham counselor in the waiting area of our uh, outpatient uh, area, if they start talking about this vaccine for the child. catch up immunization vaccination for parents and grandparents we can definitely maintain whatever vaccination which is going on and our place tracking of every child documentation of the vaccination missed opportunity of vaccination also can be tackled very very well and we can maintain whatever vaccination that has been happening in even private practice in a big way due to its patented conjugation technique robust clinical data on immunogenicity and safety profile tiba tcv can be considered better vaccine it is important to vaccinate all children from the age of 6 months onward recently i was in one of the ad board meeting of this 6 months onwards definitely gives very good protection and the seven year study shows that the zero protection stays for long and the mathematical model also shows that it can continue for even long period of time catch up vaccination up to 65 year is also advocated so those children who comes to you at at 11 year 12 year 15 year 18 years you can give them this vaccine if not given or not documented even to their parents and the grandparents also can be definitely given this vaccine thank you so much